Today let's talk about the clogged nozzles. Titan extruder is quite good and stable. But the clogged nozzles are a disaster. Let's check its structures. So there is a throat tube inside the heatsink. Let's take it out. Another tube inside the throat tube. The heatsink is fully aluminum. So does the heat block. The filament enters from the top. Passes the throat tube. And be protected by the internal PTFE tube. Then it was pushed forward, melted, and goes out from the nozzle. There are some causes for clogged nozzles. First, the PTFE tube is clogged by the melted filament. This PTFE tube will help to reduce the heat. It will get melted when the fan doesn't work. Then the filament gets stuck. It also happens when your retraction distance is too long. If everything's fine, it might be the nozzle got clogged. Anyway, let me show you how to replace them. First, adjust the Z-axis height. Please operate on the printer instead. In case you get an unbalanced X-axis. Then loose the strews and take off the cover. Disconnect the motor cable. Loose the screws and remove the top cover. Then remove the parts and collect them well. So here is what's inside. This fan absorbs heat from the heatsink. So that the PTFE tube won't get melted. Then the heat block connects the rest things. Okay, that's it. Turn on the printer and preheat the nozzles to 210 degrees. Watch out for the following steps. Fix the heatsink and remove the nozzle. Use something like a needle to clean the throat tube. Turn off the printer if it doesn't work. Remove the fan. Remove the heat block. Take the throat tube out. Normally, replacing a throat tube should fix the problem. Just get a new one and put it in. Make sure you have the PTFE tube inside. In some cases, you might want to replace the heat block. Don't forget this small screw in it. Remove it. Then remove the heating tube in the thermistor. Here's the old heat block. Next, we will show you how to set everything up. First, install the heating tube in the thermistor. Make sure the direction is right. Tighten the screws to fix the heating tube. 
Okay, we made it. Install the heatsink. Install the nozzle. Okay, here is the whole new kit. Attach it to the fan. Turn on the printer again. Preheat the nozzles to 210 degrees. Be careful with the following steps. Hold the fan tight in this way. Wait for the nozzle heating. Once the temperature reached, fix the heat block and tighten the nozzle. Then tighten the throat tube. After that, you are all set. Put the kit back. Then put all the parts back. Then the top cover. Tighten the screws to fix it. Put the print head cover back, then fix it. After that, reconnect the motor cable. So we just finished replacing the whole nozzles kit. This will solve the clogged nozzle. Next, we need to preheat the nozzles again for bed leveling. Set the temperature as 210 degrees. Bed leveling when the temperature reaches. So we talked about how the nozzles get clogged. Showed how to fix it in the most situations. Hope it helps you well. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing.